Cracking open Motormax American Classics 1960 Ford Ranchero on HW50. If you like watching diecast videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications when we upload new videos. Well, welcome everybody back. Uh, it's just me again. We are still working on getting our software glitches together uh, so that we can do a zoom party where we can have multiple video feeds and audio in so that we could still do our close-ups and our widescreen video and our commentary from both of us let's go look at this a 1960 ford ranchero this was this was one of those i just bought out of the blue i have not collected 124 scale uh, cars as much as i did in the mid 2000s this i bought before i bought the red ferrari uh, I bought this one uh, on a trip to Maui uh, in 2017. Uh, before we started this channel, uh, we went on several trips. We were lucky enough to go to Japan. Uh, we went to Maui, the big island, and then to LA in uh, October for Halloween. Uh, we bought this on a trip to Maui. We did a, a weekend thing and overnight, uh, two nights three days and uh, we walked into a Walmart and sitting right there on the shelf was this Ranchero. I didn't, we didn't check any bags. I had a really small bag that I knew this wouldn't fit in. So I found a way to get it back. Uh, I did pack it in the bag, but I wore extra clothing on the flight uh, so that I could make room in the bag. And uh, there's just something about the color on this there's something about the car itself. It's so unique uh, from other cars that I collect. It's, it's kind of weird. I collect Mustangs, Ferraris, mostly Ferraris and Hot Wheel, but I do have that one, 124 scale one. Um, but for some reason, when I walked in, we are toy hunting. I was there for Hot Wheels, Matchbox stuff. And I saw this and I was like, I think I'm going to be buying that. <laughs> um, and I did. And here it is. So let's get this open. Um, as you can see, it is a box that I do have on display. I'll put a picture up right now of the cards on the desk that I set up at home uh, in the now living room. Uh, so we don't have a home office anymore. I have it displayed with the other two cars that we were doing or I'm showing you guys this week. So uh, American Classics is um, probably my favorite release from Motormax. I did buy a lot of cars from Motormax from the American Classic series. And I think it's because they are stock vehicles and they're pretty awesome, uh, just as stock vehicles. Don't get me wrong, I still love the Jadas. Uh, Jada does fully modified uh, cars, but I kind of like them stock, plain sometimes. And this is no way plain. This is just a beautiful car. <laughs> uh, so let's let's get this open. I'm gonna open it from this side because I think I do have I think I do have the box already open. I think I may have taken it out once, um, but I can tell that I I really didn't stick to my guns on uh, cutting away all the plastic that I normally, the first thing I do is I open them up and I cut these tabs away, especially this little rubber band. And please let me not discover it damaged this awesome paint job. Nope, pretty good. So let's get these out of there. Let's take a quick break and I will remove it from this box. All right, there it is. Get a little closer on this. This is a 124 scale car, so it is on the larger side. Um, it does feature an opening hood, and you can see right in there the engine compartment, and it does have opening doors. So let's get that open and then 
Let's get that. All these moving parts. Oh, does that not open? Oh no, no, the rear does not open. It's all right. It's all right, that's fine by me. Look at that beauty. That is one beautiful, beautiful car. Can you see in there? Let's take a look. That is a metallic, metallic color. Look at that. Let's get that hood closed. Right, nice Ford logo right there, on, or Ford uh, name right there on the hood. And I kind of made it a little dusty. So it looks like the box is kind of open a little because there's a little dust on this. Glad I got it open. Let's take a look in that interior. Not a lot of detail in the interior. I wish the tailgate was uh, able to go down, but that's all right. I mean, this is pretty nice. Very nice. Let's get that, get a shot in there with the doors closed. So 1960 Ford Ranchero from Motormax American Classics. Look at that beauty go. So tell me what you think in the comments. Let me know if you like this format. We I do have I do have a pretty large diecast collection. Uh, uh, it spans from when I was a small kid to, you know, to now as a full adult uh, as a kid. You know, it's it's kind of funny. I take the kid to the uh, the stores, and I'm the one looking for toys, and she's you know just copying what I'm doing. She's as I'm flipping through the pegs, she's taking a look too at what I'm doing. So. But I do have a large collection. This is my, uh, this is what maybe, the, uh, I've only featured a few of my, my die cast, large die cast collection. Um, we've only been showcasing mostly uh, the 164 scale stuff. So um, we'll probably sneak in a few of these every once in a while. Um, I do have a weird eclectic collection of hearses and limos from presidential limos to uh, funeral cars. Um, I have a collection of uh, emergency vehicles. I do have a second website uh, that, that links to another Facebook page. So we do have the HW50 or the HW, uh, HW uh, Collectors Hawaii. It used to be the old Hot Wheels Collectors Hawaii. A Facebook page and Facebook group page. I have my own uh, diecast page on Facebook on their code e diecast. Um, I used to have my own website. I ended up just pointing the website back to Facebook for now since it's pretty simple. I just upload a photo and it uh, puts it there. I had my own website for many years. I, I kind of just downed it for it. It took a lot of work to do it, so I kind of wanted to simplify it. So. Um, but I put all of the 124 scale stuff up on my um, on on that other Facebook page on the Cody Diecast uh, Facebook page instead of the Hot Wheels uh, page or the H Dub 50. So if you want to see any more of these, I, I do have custom work there. I did emergency vehicles. And it's the name Cody. It's a play on Code Three or Code Three response. And if you want to see more, uh, please leave that in the comments too. So two questions. Tell me if you like it. Uh, if you like this, leave it in the comments. If you don't like it, leave it in the comments too. Uh, if you want to see more of this 124, 118 scale stuff, leave that in the comments. And I'd like to thank everybody for staying this long. If you like it, please like the video, share it with your friends. We are HW Vivo. For our new viewers, check out the end screens where you'll see links to our previous videos a video YouTube thinks you like, and one we think you should watch. 
Check back on Friday. I will have a 70s era Mustang, also from Motor Max American Classics. Thanks for watching.